full screen mode and full screen mode. So yeah, very helpful tool. My hand is right there on the keyboard, so get comfortable. Put it to the left of you if you're right-handed. Put it to the right of you and keep your hand right there near the spacebar. All right. This is general workflow procedure um, practices you guys should kind of try to remember to do. All right. Next, on your new layer. Okay, lines on top, shadows on uh, shadows. I already said it. Values on the bottom, and this guy right here. To select the color, instead of going in and clicking this, press your Option key. You get the eyedropper tool. Now, with the eyedropper tool, you can select whatever colors that's already on your canvas. See, it speeds up your workflow. Bow got this one good now begin to paint it in using this guy for instructional purpose let's use um, this this one because I'm not sure if the later versions have the same kind of default setups I remember in school it looked a little different and it was weird but uh, just a nice um, opaque one opaque meaning you can't you can't see through it it's not transparent Okay, good. Now go to opacity, turn this down to around 70, 70 something is, is normally what I do. You know, I don't like, I'm not specific, I just drag it down. That's a good number. So basically, let's go through that. Opacity. If it's half percent opacity, it's, it's only giving out half the amount of ink per stroke I believe um, something to that effect it's only giving out a fraction of the amount of ink okay so basically stroking over it will give it darker valid each time layering in okay that's what the opacity does so having that lower is nice B for brush quickly Sesame Street. Okay, flow. Set your flow to. I like around 30. This makes it more like watercolor-ish. Okay. Meaning, how much, how much, how long will you have to hold the brush down for it to reach its maximum um, ink giving offness? Okay ink giving offness ink distribution how long will that take see I'm holding my my uh, my pen down and it gets a little more thicker in some areas so it's like it's almost like a spray can you're spraying so think of flow spray can opacity or watercolor yeah anyways now that that's out of the way 83 33 70 okay we are going to work in what I like to do is the light. Okay? Light first. You can work shadows first. But working in the lights, we can do both of them first. Either way, we'll do the shadow approach since that's more traditional. So call it layer shadow. Double click your layers to title it. Double click that layer. And call that one the value. It's really the local value. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. And the top one, line. Oops. Okay. So shadow. Option. Select the color. I know I have ADD. Select the color. We got that color now. Shadow. Watch this. See? Pretty. Alright. Why did I do that? Watch this. Because this, the light is over here. The light's over here. Say sunlight's here. Yay. 
then the shadow is going to be over here. All right. So we got shadow. Now, since we have a shadow, what's a product of the sh the? Uh, that's actually form shadow. Oh, my bad. Yes. Yes. Good one. Good one, guys. You caught me. Form shadow. Shadow. I'm going off the top of my head, okay? It's been a while. Well, I do this, you know, it's 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 automatic when you paint, but <clears throat> getting the terminology down and all that. Okay, number four. Product of your form shadow, not form shadow, of the light is your cast shadow. Cast shadow. Ta-da. All right. Now, what does that look like? Let's open a new layer. Call it cast shadow. Bow, bow. All right. Now, if you were to put your head against the floor that the ball is lying on, you'd probably see like this much shadow. Another important trick, another important hotkey to remember. All right, is undo. This is probably the most important hotkey. I use it probably ninety percent more than any other hotkey. Command Z. All right, Command Z. Command Shift Z will allow you to um do multiple, I believe. But I think I edited mine. You can edit your settings to whatever key function you want it to be. And I think I have it mine on Option Command Z, and that's how I like it because the uh, the buttons are closer together for my fingers to press. Right? Okay. So that's not right. There. That is your cast shadow. Hi. Cast shadows. Where would they show up? underneath the nose where the right underneath the hair where the bangs of your head on, on the head on your head hair hair strands um, underneath the breasts new layer call it the I'm gonna call it the uh, <clears throat> spotlight no 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 let's do reflected light first yeah reflected or bounce light reflected Ralph Beckton Reflect, reflect, reflected light. Okay. So what's the reflected light? Well, I'm gonna tell you what that is. The light comes out this way, and this way, and that way, and this way. It's everywhere. It's like spraying water in your eyes. You know, water bottle. It's everywhere. You don't know where it's coming from. It's just everywhere. It goes off the wall. Okay, hits the uh, bottom of that canvas everywhere. All right, but it also hits the shadow. Isn't that odd? So what does that mean? Directly opposite where the light is strongest is the reflected light, huh? <laughs> There's like a cartoon truck outside. Meow <laughs> meow. All right. For reflected light, what's a good value? How dark should it be? You don't want it as dark as this area here, but you want it to be lighter than this. So, click on this one. Eye drop tool, option. Open this up. Move it down slightly. The end. See? Ah, uh, simple. <laughs> Told you. All right. 